What do you do when things in your life are totally out of control? You could be facing any number of circumstances like that today. Getting unexpected bills when you're struggling to pay your regular ones. Ongoing drama in relationships with family or possibly neighbors. Or maybe you're dealing with poor health and past traumas. There are different ways to respond when things seem out of control. Some people work to control the circumstances and the outcomes. Others follow bad advice or hide behind some obsession. It's very normal to feel paralyzed with anxiety and unable to do anything. In these times, you may wonder if there's any chance for peace. But God does promise to bring peace into our lives. Listen to Philippians 4, 6 and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This is a sense of God's wholeness everything coming together for good. It's trusting that God won't let things fall to pieces. The promise that His peace will come and settle you down. It's amazing. So amazing that it goes beyond our human comprehension. It isn't necessary for us to go on living in anxiety. This actually is given to us as a very strong directive. Don't fret or worry. Don't be anxious. Which is often, at least for me, easier said than done. Anxious thoughts captivate our minds and take control. But the way forward is letting God know your concerns. So let me ask, do you honestly and consistently follow the opportunity of praying? Now, let me clarify what I don't mean by praying. This is not a formal prayer like you might hear at a church service, and it's not using prayer beads to repetitiously say the same words, nor is it mindlessly chanting some mesmerizing sound. What I do mean is having a normal, meaningful conversation with God. Prayer is keeping company with Him, who is already present. It's expression of your heart in conversation with God. A place to deposit your anxiety on Him by naming your concerns as specifically as possible and asking God to help in relieving you of those burdens. Here's practically speaking some hindrances when we pray. Sometimes you just don't feel like praying, or your mind wanders. You should know that distractions are common to everyone. So don't be discouraged, and don't give up. You may find it helpful to pray aloud, or walk while you pray. Maybe just sit in stillness and quietness before you pray. Now, as you're expressing your heart and your feelings to God, Name your concerns. This is what it means to make petitions. We ask God about specific details concerning ourselves. We ask with earnestness, and we keep it up. We ask for grace, for His strength, insight, patience, and wisdom. But also, let's not neglect the thanksgiving aspect of this prayer. Thanksgiving expresses that we trust God and what He is working out. Accepting that what is happening is beyond our understanding. We're not necessarily giving thanks for the difficulties, but we can give thanks for the comfort that God offers us, for the people who are there to be supportive, and the things that He's teaching us. This promise is not a promise that God will take away the problems. It's a promise of God 
given peace in our crazy circumstances. He calms beyond our ability to psychologically figure out. His peace is supernatural. It's a God-infused gift. We mustn't miss that the fountain of this peace is in Christ Jesus. It's wonderful what happens when Christ is at the center of your life. Our hearts and minds are guarded as they rest in Him. Peace is the presence of Christ. He is enough. And when we seek something besides Him, we lose it. We lose that peace. Let me encourage you to build your life on this solid rock foundation. It doesn't keep the storms of life from coming. There will be plenty of times when life seems out of control. But as wave after wave beats upon your life and as the streams rise and the winds blow, your house will stand. Sometimes God will calm the storm, but mostly He will calm you. Do you want this kind of peace in your life? I know that you do. We we all do. So that brings us to our key spiritual insight. God's peace flows into our hearts and lives as we shape our worries into prayers.